my God. So much fun. So The Good Wife, I worked with Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Um, we had like the best time. I mean, that show was, I did 18 episodes of that show. So that show was like my heart, my family, like Juliana Margulies is like the doll of all dolls. Um, I like literally walked in my front door one day and I got like a text on my phone and it was like, hey, uh, you want to do The Walking Dead? And I was like, I didn't have the number in my phone. So I didn't know who that was. I didn't know it was a joke. Like I just didn't, and it wasn't an agent, clearly. And they're texting me like, Right. So my husband was in the kitchen. I was like, Nestor, somebody just asked me if I want to do The Walking Dead, but I don't know who it is. I don't even know if this is real. I was like, what do I do? And he's like, just tell them fuck yeah. And then say, excuse me, but who is this? So I literally texted that, fuck yeah, who is this? And it was Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I'm like, totally like embarrassed that I didn't have his number in my phone. And I was like, oh shit. And I just like called him and I was like, what's up? Of course I do. Like love that show. And so he, he had just been hired to do Megan and he was like, I'm going to meet Gimple like in, you know, a couple hours or something. So I just thought of you and I'll put your name out there. And it was like the next day I was on the phone with Scott Gimple and you know, that was that. I was just like, oh my God, that's, you know, that's when you work with good people who are loyal, who want to work with you again. It's such a gift, you know, actors can do that. Like, so that's how I got in. And then I got this, then when I talked to Scott and he was like, I'm thinking I'm going to give you this episode that like, it's the episode that I'm waiting, like the whole series for that episode. And I was mm -hmm. like, Oh my God. Like I was so petrified after that. I can't even tell you the amount of fear that came. So I'm like, I can, how am I going to live up to Scott Gimple's vision of what he has in his mind? Yeah. No pressure. Thanks Scott. Oh my God. Really? I felt so, I mean, first of all, it's a walking dad. And then it's like, right. Oh my God, Negan. And yeah, I did feel a lot of pressure about that. But it was great. It was like amazing. I got there when it finally came months. That was months before going. And then when I finally got there and I parked my car and I had like the little sign, the Walking Dead director, you know, sign on it. I was like, my heart's beating and I'll go into the building. And it just happened. Like the universe just had it where I walk in the building and Greg Nicotero is like right there. And he's just walking up the steps. And so it was like, hey, I'm Greg. I was like, awesome i'm already like oh my god it's greg nicotero holy shit i'm like and you know i was like oh my god dude you're like such a great director like this is amazing i'm so happy to be here and he's like yeah my job now is to help you shine and literally that's one of the first first words out of his mouth and i was like who is this guy like oh my god really nobody ever says that ever it's like their show and they don't want you to shine because they want to shine on their own show. And if you shine, they may not even like you around. Like just, and here's this guy on this great show who's super talented artist telling me I'm going to help you. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, it was just like amazing. They're really an amazing group of people.